QC shanties, boys. Hey, everybody, we're back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I'm Slayer Matheson. Last time, we took care of our final normal quest of the game. And this time, we're heading out to take care of our last normal unique monster. Uh, not unique monster. Our last normal super boss with Levialord Imperio. Who, I believe, is right through here. Just kind of wiggle ourselves in there. And there he is. Just gotta, you know, get over there. Now, my question is, is he close enough to the beach that we can utilize that? I think he might be. Just might be. We'll find out. Regardless, we are getting closer to being able to snag each and every one of the amiibo rewards. Though we already have the, we already have them actually, but it doesn't look like we'll be able to utilize the beach. I don't think. It's probably a little bit too far out. Ah well. But Levia Lord in here. I'm actually gonna play as Santa because I like the. I like playing as martial artist. Level 110 for Levia Lord. Just pop you. I want to get over to the side. Then. Doubt we'll be able to actually get any of our. Dude. Yeah, there was a. That was a big attack coming our our way. I am not sure how we're gonna do with this. I mean, we had a lot of difficulty with, um, with Peril Wing. So, I think that was largely because we were caught in the sea. Well, that, and we also did have other monsters to worry about, which could be in effect as well. Raging Force before we perish. We will perish very quickly. But I can just want to at least avoid a another attack. I'm getting some really good timings on these. But I think our luck is about to run out. Yep. Still, actually that drew a lot. That might have actually been a really, a really happy with that performance there. That, well, prevented damage for a little while. You know, he has a big AoE, so. Big around him AoE. And once Mio is back up, we pop the chain attack. We'll Start with Melia. We can go there. We can. Yeah, let's get Lands going as well. Just get him a little bit. Um, we might be able to get everyone. Well, we're not actually gonna be able to get everyone up because we'll be using four people. We might be able to get an amazing at least. Uh, does Melee have summoned? She does not, unfortunately. It'll be close. Okay. We do get it, though. Getting immediate amazing. It's a very impressive athleticism by Melee to be able to kick while underwater like that. 
after this, we can... I guess just throw out Uni on there. Sure. I probably should get rid of all of my break topple days. All that stuff. Just because we're not really going to be able to use it. Right? Can now release the elementals. And I actually want to save the elements on Noah, I think. For next time around. That gets us... Okay, just a bravo for this one then. Probably... With it being Noah specifically, that actually would potentially... Nah, not with that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, still. Nice bravo. And gets us Melia up. Okay, oof. And of these... Yeah, we'll go Mio. I really gotta rework my arts to get things that will not be debuffs, because debuffs do not work on high-level enemies, which, again, I wish that there was custom difficulty so I could tweak that just a little bit, but even then... Shit, I did that wrong. Oh, I screwed that up. Uh, that, that, I think, just took, like, a million damage off of the table. That's very important. Okay, the is a very tough arc. Get a clock impulse, which really isn't all that big of a deal. But let's save up for a level three to learn Daedalus Web. That's new. Uh, there we go. Just keep popping all those in. Pop you. Pop. Yeah, I don't think this is like the necessarily the best uh, class team setup, but it's not the worst. We have all very good classes. There we go. Let's do an evade. Mia will be able to revive Noah. Arcing leap. That's new. And Jesus, we are. I did that early, I did that early, I did that early. We did. Okay, honestly, okay, we're not having too much difficulty. We're the. Heralwing was the most difficult one of them. I, just, I don't know, that just doesn't seem as right, but... Hey, sometimes you just get things like that. 
Aether Abs, I'm just gonna do the same thing, I suppose. There we pop you. Then spam. And very technical dialogue here. I guess we'll go with Mio this time. 96. I don't think that'll matter. No, okay. We got to the amazing, that's the point. And Melio back up, we're not... Not... Hmm. Maybe. We might still be able to get an amazing. We do that, we do... It'll cost, it's really costly to get this, but I think, I, I think we get the amazing. We do that, Melia. Elemental Discharge. Okay, we definitely do get it then. It's us 226. Not the greatest results, but I think this does end up resulting in us pretty much guaranteeing that we get a full, but just with bravos instead of any amazings. Ah, well. Uh, we might be able to take him down with this chain attack. And... Yeah, it lands the only choice. Gets us up to 80, which does absolutely guarantee us and Bravo. That's good grammar, by the way, and good bravo. Poke. And finally, back up with Big Bang Implosion. Chance Pierce will go with that. Then we go Neo. Then we go Uni. Then we go Melia. Uh, yeah. Then, okay. Let's go for the biggest number possible. It's a 302. Yeah, yep, yeah, we're. We kill up you, Lord. There we go! Legend out, 4 million damage. And that picks us up. Power pick me up. Now discuss Ayanus' strongest. Hex shard. One that we needed. Yes, sir. I put my head down and pulled us through. And then I think it's one more rhomboid shard. And now if we just let's check with the equipment that we got. Battle indoors. Oh my god, that could be really good. Okay. Um a rhomboid shard. Let's let's just 
see what we can get. So is this a fashion point in the water? Ah, oh, it's not that deep of water, okay. That yeah, we can spend the rest of the time just looking for a rhomboid shard. I think that's the last thing we need, just need one more rhomboid. Pretty sure, at least. But, if it, then, I don't know. We're up, we're up 97, I don't think we're able to get up to 99 with our boat, with our, with our Bex. Ooh. Oh, you have to jump there. I did not realize that you had to jump. Oh well. I'm not gonna complain about having to go on another slide. It's me as a kid. Yeah, it's just yeah, we're fin we're gonna finish off the the uh, level. I think it's 120 to start off with. Finish off that, and then afterwards we're going to start up the DLC. Um, I know I still have all of my, like, behind-the-scenes stuff, but... I jumped early. Uh, the sun's come out. If this is not a round boy, I'll be very disappointed, because I don't know if the origin shards are used for anything else. I don't think they are. They must accept their fate. I'm pretty sure they're just for upgrading... I'm pretty sure they're just for upgrading, you know. But yeah, um, just because I just haven't had time to do my research, so I've kind of been, I mean, there, you've seen how many nothing episodes there's been. There we go, toroidal. Well, um, I don't know where there might be other origin shards yet. I haven't explored everything, so, eh, whatever. Took way longer on just that one, but whatever, it's fine, I guess. It can just... Set sail across the sea. At least uncover a little bit more map in the process. And maybe we find another unique monster that we can pretty easily take out. I mean, anything at this point on the sea is going to be not particularly difficult. I think we found everything we can in Origin. And I don't know- I know there's some unique monsters that are just out about on the open sea, but I do not know wherefore they do be. As Shakespeare once said, in exactly that way. Oh, there's a Ravoon unique monster. I, again, I can't remember where. No. Why am I not boosted? Let's just zip along. Are you a unique monster? No. If I even just remember the general area. That would have been nice, but... Instead, just... Kinda... Zooming about... Looking for... Like, anything. Um... Hmm... Is it really that big of a deal if I... Do this? Not really. I still wanna. 
It's a shame that we're just a little bit too short on money yet. Is it... It's not by... No. Not by here, evidently. That's one thing I can tell you. It, it's... Again, I do like the fact that you do have somewhere like the Aurelius Seed that is so big and you actually, you know, have water that you can actually explore, but this does come to the issue of it's a little bit too big of an area at times, it seems, so you kind of end up getting to a point where it's like, what am I supposed to do here? You just kind of get lost. Because even if you know where something is, it might be just like in the middle of the ocean. What about this airdrop? Would this airdrop <clears throat> have any origin shards? Probably not. There is a container up there. Is that a unique monster? Because he looks pretty big. Nope, just a normal Ravoon. <sighs> well, whatever. That's all tertiary things. But, yeah, that'll do it for this time. Next time, we take on Ionius the Strongest. But until then, see you guys later.